So we store the material variable that is a duplicate of the skin material that is loaded here. And for the Unreal people, this is kind of the material instance stuff, but this is not exactly the same, but more or less. Okay, we duplicate it, we assign it to the mesh, and we set these parameters that are exposed. The albedo, the multi-channel detail, normal map, and it's applied here with the path and the name of the part. So, here we are. We have to take in consideration that Godot doesn't provide a skin shader model specific for, for skin, so it's what we have. And, okay, I'm gonna show you. Skin material. For the skin material I used this visual shader editor that comes in Godot. And as I'm coming from Unreal Engine, I'm quite comfortable with this workflow. But honestly, it's a bit pain in the neck right now. Hope they solve it because you don't have proper zooming or node grouping on a lot of usability features, but it's fully functional if you are patient enough to <laughs> to make it work. And let's take a look to the different parameters I got. Uh, we have the face paint mask, it's a texture uniform that is going to serve as a lerp and it's going to be over the skin with this color. Next one is the dark skin mask. Uh, all right, this stands for when you have the the skin darker, it's not equally darker. Your lips are not darker. And even you have lighter tones in the in the head, like the nose or the forehead or the cheeks. So that would need a mask that is mixed and avoids the skin tone. Uh, then we have some uh, multiply masks for the for the sub hair that is going to be under the, the hair mesh or a stubble beard or whatever. Then we, for example, this, uh, this is interesting. Uh, what I made for the eyebrows as, a, as an example, just in case you want to use it for having more detail, but not wasting a lot of texture memory. Uh, what we do, for example, the eyebrows are like nothing a little chunk in the, in the texture. So the thing is that you can have your eyebrows and big and then with the UVs you can place it with a higher, higher resolution there, here. So for example, I'm going to show you. So this is what I mean. In this way you can use uh, like higher resolution uh, textures and you don't have to waste a 4K mask that is going to be this part or this texture. You know, and um, what you need is to fit it in the in the UVs. So I added this shader expression. There's only two lines, but it works and it saves a lot of space. So it only multiplies, moves, and and well, also places with this other parameter that is eyebrow height. Well, I I'm inverting these these maps because they are multiplying the they're multiplying the, the skin texture, but what I need is like to be less. I want to add it to the roughness, so it's less reflected, like the, like the beard or the or the eyebrow. So it adds some variety and realism in a way. So the eye material has this simple texture with a non-colored eye, and we want it. We want to multiply these colors. I color one. I color two. We wanted to multiply, but not affecting the the areas. So we have this mask, and we have a simple normal map, like quite easy. Cornea is, is a spatial material that is transparent and with refraction enabled. Nothing, nothing fancy. So it's a quite simple material. So the only important thing is this line that mixes the hair color with the root color and tip color by using this mask, the red channel or the green channel, this is the mask. This stands for the root mask and this for the tip mask. And it multiplies this by, by this parameter that is going to more or less shrink or expand the, the mask, more or less. So yeah, that's it.